All right, Coach Tahura, getting in the W column. Okay, a rough Sunday for you. Had a lot of guys out. Uh, what's going on? You know, what's going through the team here, and uh, why, why are you missing some guys, and why are they finally just coming back? Uh, you know, we had three of the four back. We're missing four starters. That's that's never easy, you know, especially when you're wrestling. You know, number two ranked NAIA team and uh, you know top five Division one team. I mean, we're gonna pay for that. And um, you know, it was a little bit of skin disease. We hit those open tournaments. Nothing you can do about that. Uh, you get a scratch and it gets infected. There's nothing you can do. And uh, Robbie came back, just a sprained wrist, no big deal. Um, you know, our 97 pounder, was, he's a Marine, so when they say you got to jump, you gotta, you got to do it. So getting him back helps. And, um, you know, that, that's that's kind of why we're at. We got three out of the four back, so that helped. Okay, you guys, you're in year two. I noticed uh, this is something I kind of noticed, but you got all your guys who aren't wrestling sitting in the front row. You know, what's, what are we trying to, you trying to uh, kind of show people that you're doing here at Cooking State? Well, you know, I mean, we don't, I don't tell them to sit in front row. You know, I mean, I don't, I don't even really make them come to the match. I mean, these guys are teammates, and we talked a little bit about team chemistry, and they love each other. I mean, they're, they're teammates, they're friends. They, the guys sitting on the bench, you know, if, when you watch them, they're not lollygagging. They're not paying, they're, they're paying attention to the match. The guys in the stands, they want those guys out there to do well. Because they bang heads every day, and there's a lot of respect, there's a lot of camaraderie, there's a lot of you know chem team chemistry, here. and that's that's just natural. And I'm really, as a coach, when you start to see that, you know that you've got your foundation, laid. and you can do a lot of things with a solid foundation of guys pulling for each other and caring about each other. Okay, nice win over John Carroll today. Uh, you had a couple you know close matches that went your ways in falls in the sense of falls. But do you think you're going to continue, you know, wrestling John Carroll? They're a Division three school. You're a Division one. You're about 20 minutes apart. You know, if you continue it, why will you continue it? Uh, because this is the 49th year, I believe, 48th, 49th year we've been doing it. So as, as long as I think we both have programs, we've been doing it. And um, you know, as long as they want to do it, we'll do it. It's it's a nice Cleveland matchup. I mean, uh, there's no there's no downside to it. I mean, you know it. It's great publicity. We get in the plane dealer over this, and, and that's it's good publicity. And, and there's nothing wrong with wrestling this match, and it's a tradition. I and mean, you've got to respect traditions. And you know, in this sport, there's a lot of tradition, and, and you know, we'll keep doing it. And, and, uh, and we got a really good crowd, so I mean, that's that's always good, positive, uh, a nice crowd for you guys wrestling. Okay, Marcus, uh, doing uh, better with the leg defense. How important have you stressed that this year, not letting guys get his legs and twist them? Actually, you know, I mean, that leg defense is his. He's had that. I mean, you, know, you notice he's, he's scoring off it a little bit more. We've been working on that, and we're just trying to keep guys off of us through offense. And you saw a little bit of that tonight. You know, he came out, and people were saying, oh, you know, he's not doing anything. Well, you tried being off the mat for two years, and you're, you're just not clicking offensively. You saw every time he steps on the mat, his offense comes 13, more more. 13 1 is not doing anything? <laughs> <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> but it's and it's been a process, you know. He's been he's been faithful to the process. He's been you know uh, staying positive and keeping working. And we saw him do a couple things tonight that we've been working on in the room quite a bit. So that helps. And, and I'm glad that he was getting some success. And his offense is coming back, and we need to build on that. And you know, the best offense, is, the best defense is good offense. So that's what we're All right, Michael's quick pin. And Keller winning the Michigan State Open. What are those doing for your program right now? Uh, that I think is exposure. Robbie, he was fired up. I mean, he, you know, sprained wrist, and, and you got to take care of it. You know, it's a long season. And Keller winning the Michigan State Open. Hopefully, those those are two guys we think are going to do well this year. You know, along with with Marcus, um, I think they're going to do well. They're they're the guys we expect to go deep into tournaments and, and you know, looking to go to the national tournament. See him in Omaha. That's the plan. All right, Coach Sir, you got anything else for me? Uh, no, you know, one thing we, we had is alumni night here, and many alumni are watching. I really appreciate them coming down. It was great to see them. Uh, you know, we're going to continue to do that, and like we talked about, and this is our first event. And I hope they really enjoyed it. I enjoyed seeing a lot of familiar faces and some new ones, too. So. All right, Coach Sir, hey, thanks for the time. We'll go grab your other guys. Thanks, Sam.